Hello, for this problem we've got uh, a circular annulus, kind of like a donut shape. Um, it's going to be a cross section for something like a pipe. Uh, so the, we're asked to find the polar area moment of inertia of this circular shape. Uh, about the center point, the center point is going to be the center uh, of my circle here. Um, so <clears throat> with this, I'm going to say J Z, Z, my polar moment of inertia about the z-axis, uh, it's going to be straight out of the page like this, uh, is going to be equal to the integral from the inner radius. And so since I don't have anything in the middle, my inner radius is going to be to this inside surface. So it's going to be 2.5 inches. Uh, and then to the outer radius, it's going to be up to my outer radius of three inches. Uh, and I'm going to take the uh, integral of dA times r squared. All right, so jzz can be equal to the integral from 2.5 out to 3. Uh, and dA is going to be the rate at which the area changes as they increase r. Um, and so that is going to be at any value r. It's going to be the circumference here uh, times the rate at which r is changing. So the circumference of a circle is going to be 2 pi r times dr. And I still have this r squared term that's left in my integral. All right, so <clears throat> if I kind of rearrange this and evaluate the integral, so jzz is going to be equal to 2 pi. I've just taken the, the constant out of the integral itself. And I'm left with the integral of r cubed. Um, and so this is going to be 2.5 to 3. And the integral of r cubed dr is going to be r to the fourth over 4. All right, so I can evaluate. I'm I'm, I am evaluating this from 2.5 up to 3. So jzz is going to be equal to uh, 2 pi times 3 to the fourth over 4 minus 2.5 to the fourth over 4. And uh, these are, this is 3 inches and 2.5 inches. So jzz, if I put this all into a calculator, I get a value of 65.9, and it's going to be inches to the fourth is my units here. And so that is my polar moment of inertia of this circular uh, annulus uh, about its center point. Uh, so with that, we've got our answer. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.